For the second time, a task force met today to discuss how the state is spending money on the coronavirus pandemic. From contact tracing to testing and protecting the most vulnerable populations, all of that discussed as the state estimates how much money is needed to adequately address the virus. Eyewitness News reporter Caroline Goggin is tracking the numbers and joins us now from the State House with more details. Tuesday's meeting lasted about two and a half hours as lawmakers discussed how they'd like to see millions of dollars spent on the pandemic. Supplies, testing, and the possibility of a surge. Tuesday night, the state shared estimates of hundreds of millions of dollars to be used in response to the coronavirus pandemic. My biggest concerns is ensuring that we continue um, to get reports on how that money is being spent. Department of Administration Director Brett Smiley says the state has $1.25 billion to spend from the Coronavirus Relief Fund. There's also FEMA reimbursement. At this point, Smiley says the state has only spent $43 million, while $142 million has been committed. But the state projects it could need between $662 to $900 million more. A lot of that's going to depend on circumstances uh, in our environment um, and, you know, and, and how infection rates move. How that money is spent was of concern to several members of the task force. Representative Anastasia Williams says there needs to be more funding and focus on communities of color. They need to be taken care of. So you make sure, please, that you all address that population. Senator Josh Miller advocated for help for small businesses, saying certain business structures have evaporated without tourism. There's need for very specific uh, small business um, support beyond what um, the Fed and the state has has provided. Concerns were also raised about nursing homes. Do they have sufficient testing and PPE? The state's Medicaid director says they do. We want to make sure that these you know, sort of practices uh, stay uh, in uh, in use uh, nursing facilities, um, and that as you know, circumstances on the ground change, that we that we adapt accordingly. The state's Medicaid director also said they're looking into additional guidance about how exactly they could resume visitation at nursing homes in the future. Reporting in Providence, I'm Caroline Goggin, Eyewitness News.